All right, I think this is year number eight of our Thursday night visits with the uh, Providence Bruins. Joining us tonight in studio is forward Zach Hamill. Zach, welcome back. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Uh, let's talk about uh, you first, then we'll talk about the team. Your second full season with the Providence Bruins, second full season of pro hockey. How much different is it than the first full season for you? Uh, well, it's obviously different every year, but uh, the more experience you gain, the better, uh, not only here, but uh, in training camp and stuff like that. And As a player and a person, you, uh, you know, hope to grow every year on and off the ice. A lot of new guys on this year's team. It happens all the time in the minor leagues, a lot of turnover. Uh, you, I mean, I need a roster when I go, a, a program to figure out who's, who's who. How hard is that for you guys to, to gel? I know you're in last place now, but you're only five points out of fourth place. Is it a matter of still trying to get to know you sort of situation? Yeah, like you said, things change so quickly in the minors, you know, and uh, you've got to be able to adapt. And I think sometimes it takes a little bit longer if, uh, you know, you have new guys and coming and going. So it's... Definitely a little different, but, uh, you know, hockey is such a small world that, you know, you know, you're able to jail pretty quick. I was at practice today, and, I mean, it just seemed like there was a lot of guys out there. I know some guys are hurt still, and, and some guys are, are on those 25-game uh, tryout contracts. At what point in the season does it all kind of shake out and become sort of like this is our team, like probably around the holidays and Christmas time? Yeah, and I think for, like, teams that want to be the playoffs, you know, it's got to happen quicker, quicker the better, right? Because, uh, <laughs> you know, the playoffs, only four teams made the playoffs in the division, so it's... Definitely, uh, you know, want to jump pretty quick and, you know, make a run for the, make a run for the playoffs and, uh, you know, get in when you uh, play in April. All right. Now back to you. First-round draft pick back in 2007. Uh, how, talk about the expectations of being a first-round pick because, you know, you're labeled as – it's a good label to have as a prospect. Uh, do you enjoy having that, I guess we'll call it pressure, and does it maybe motivate you more? Or some guys might not be able to handle it. Talk about that pressure. Yeah, it's tough. It, you know, it keeps you on your toes, you know, not just game days but practice days. There's always someone watching you, always – Always someone, you know, there to, uh, you know, push you and stuff. But it's definitely, uh, you know, pressure's good sometimes. It keeps you on your toes. and keeps you, you know, aware of what's happening. And, uh, you know, like I said, it definitely, uh, I think it's for someone like me, it's a good pressure. And it's, uh, you know, it comes with just working hard and playing hard every night. What kind of, um, I don't know if timetable is the right word, but do you hear anything from the organization saying, all right, Zach, you're here. By this year, we want you here. Did they expect you to be up in the NHL now? I mean, talk about the communication between you and, and you know, Shirelli and, and Donnie Sweeney. You know, you, you talk to them here and there, and it's just, you know, it's, it's a process. You know, you come down here and work on your skills, and not only skills, it's things off the ice, like working out and getting, you know, bigger and stronger and be able to play at that level. And I think, uh, you know, look at the guys in the NHL right now, they, they kind of come out of nowhere and, you know, they, uh, you know, put up numbers right away, and there's spot room for that to happen with uh, some guys down here. So it's, it's definitely a process, and it, uh, you know, it's a marathon or a sprint. Yeah, now talk about you were at camp. You had a great camp. I mean, I even had read that you were one of those guys that were almost on the verge of not getting sent down to Providence. Did you expect that this camp? Did you go into it saying, I'm going to make it this year? Where were you at going in this year? Yeah, well, you know, I wanted to go in there. I knew that a lot of guys under contract, under one-way contract. So, it was, you know, we want to go in there and turn some heads and, uh, you know, make it tough for them. And I think, you know, like you said, you were reading stuff. And it turned out to read that stuff. You know, they had a lot of injuries and stuff. But, you don't want to read too much into it, but, uh, you know, definitely it was a positive time for me. And, uh, you know, like I said, I want to bring it down here and, you know, hopefully make the end show one day. When you see guys like um, Sabatka and Marchand and Trent Woodfield up there now, Johnny Boychuk, all these guys you played with last year, does it give you the confidence to say, you know what, I mean, I can, I've played with these guys before and I've played well. I know I can play up at that level. Yeah, you look at guys, not just them, but even around the league, you know, you look at guys you've played with and against yeah. and, you know, one day, if, you know, you keep working hard, there's, you know, spots for guys to play in the NHL and if it's, you know, Wherever position, if it's a you know center wing or something, you got to be versatile enough to uh, you know fill in this, fill in for those goalie. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Put me in. All right, Zach, we love having you here, but hopefully you're uh, you're on your way uh, north real soon. Thanks, Thanks for coming so in. Appreciate All right, it. Yeah. P. Bruins with three games at home this weekend: Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Go check them out. Back to wrap up the sports wrap in 90 seconds.